am Laura. I'm with Hi, After Buzz Laura, TV. Cute jumpsuit. Uh, well, thank you. I was going to compliment you on your uh, on your red. The same color. <laughs> I love a lady in red. I know. <laughs> Congratulations. This is my on first suit. Oh, really? Yep. You should wear it more. Thank you. And the, you rock it. Thanks, girl. <laughs> Congratulations on season two. It's so you. exciting. Thank how you. how are you feeling? I I love season two. Yeah. I was I, I have to tell you I I I loved season one so much that I was convinced that I couldn't top it. Okay. Um, and I feel like maybe we did. I don't oh, know. Great. I love it. I feel like. Um, we got to play with these characters more and you know there were the main cast members were so amazing and we got to give them more to do and then there's side characters who also just blew us away in season one so we just used them more too and it was it's just been fun we have 10 episodes this season instead of eight so we just had more time to play and um also because it's Netflix, we can do like a serialized thing. So it's we got to we tell like we got to tell this big long story, and I, I love that. Is there is there a reason why or or a, a benefit to being on a platform like Netflix to be able to tell a story like this? I prefer it. I really love being able to um, tell a story over the course of ten episodes instead of having to tell a contained story each each week yeah um and it makes it very binge worthy for yeah, us as well yes which is fun. I, that is one thing we hear a lot yeah people who've watched it in a day or two days or yeah i feel like that's got to be a huge compliment when somebody tells you that they binged your show it just means that they can't get enough it really is <laughs> it's still bizarre to me that i have a show that people are watching <laughs> well and a great show and, an, and a show that's important and a show that i think needs to be Old at this point, what drew you to this subject, and what drew you to this, you know, to create these kind of characters? Um, well, I really love telling a story from a different point of view. I always have. I've been writing plays since I was in second grade. Um, yeah, I, I just really love kind of a, a twisted fairy tale. Um, and I have someone who's close to me who's on the spectrum, so that was part of my inspiration. Um, I love the idea of telling this story about this person looking for love, which we've seen a bunch of times, from a different point of view. Yeah, and ultimately, I think as humans, that's all we want, is to be loved. So I think it's beautiful. It's a beautiful story to tell. What um, what do you think fans are going to be most surprised by, by this season? Um, there is a really fun arc for Casey this season. Oh. So I think that's going to be fun. Okay. Uh, and in general, I think there's some there's some funny big moments. Paige has some real fun surprising okay. stuff. That's the most specific that anybody's gotten with that question tonight, so I'm very excited. Good. It gives me a lot Good. to look forward to. Um, how has this changed you as a person to work on a show like this? Wow, what a deep question. <laughs> um, I have gotten to know myself so much better. I've gotten to know the autism community so much better. Um, as in my job, I have to make so many decisions, so I've gotten a lot more decisive in my work life and a lot less decisive the rest of the time because yeah. my, my decider is exhausted. <laughs> um, but in general, it's made me... Uh, well, I'm so grateful for this, this show and this group of people, and I've become much more aware of... Um, I was always aware of diversity. I'm from a mixed-race family, but uh, I... Have become more aware of our my power to sort of change what this industry looks like. Um, our season two, we had seven out of ten of our episodes were directed by women. Nine out of ten were either women or people of color. Um, we hired almost I think about a dozen actors with autism, some in autistic roles and some in neurotypical roles. Like it, just the focus has been on diversity but not in a um, preachy way and it's been I can feel it people come to me on set guest actors will come to me on set and say this set feels so nice and it, I, I personally think that has to do with the fact there's so many women yeah, yeah. <laughs> half our writers are women there's a bunch of our department heads so yeah I think that has a lot to do with it well I really just congratulate you and I wish you all the success thank you for the work that you're doing it's so important and I just I wish you all the best thank you nice to meet you thank you